People often ask me, what is a life coach? And I like to tell them that we are like therapists, only uncertified, uh, unlicensed, and uninsured. But our methods are much more creative. I would even say revolutionary. I like to think of myself as a young William Alexander a la the Revolutionary War. Uh, that's not William Alexander. This is uh, my cousin William. He is, um, he's been missing for a few years. But, um, we'll go into that story another time. <coughs> the bastard. You know, the worst part is, I miss him. I'm sorry. And I, you know, I know it's stupid and I know I'm not allowed to, but I do. I miss him. But he was texting me. And I should really stop responding. I know that. You know, but... <sighs> okay. I slept with him on Tuesday. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know what you're going to say. It was a bad idea. And it was. It was a bad idea, but the key keeps reaching out to me. And, you know, I'm lonely and I miss him. And, I mean, I, I, I can't say no. You know, I don't want him to feel rejected. He probably already feels bad enough you know, throwing away everything we had. He, he probably really hates himself. Are you eating a burrito? Uh, I'd like you to try something. Don't eat it, just look at it. I want you to transfer all of your negative feelings to that burrito. Is there anything you want to say to it? Um, I have learned not to question Monica's methods. At times, they seem like absolute ah, insanity. Um, but there, but there is a method behind them. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm like. 85% sure it is there. Somewhere. Like 83%. Mr. Burrito. The burrito does not have a gender. Sorry. Okay. You are full of rice. Good start. And... Chorizo? Tell it how you really feel. I feel like somebody chewed me up and spit me out. Go on. I feel like Ben stole the life I craved and now all I have is leftovers. Yes. I feel starved for attention, like I'm wasting away, famished for a man's touch. And? Insatiable. Mm. Mm. Are you eating my burrito therapy? I'm eating your negativity. And in 72 hours it will pass. The negativity? Or? We are ready to move on. I took a bite of a no burrito. Is this part of it? Or it was like, we're friends now? Uh, I'm here in the park with Peggy. And we are working her main issues out through this invasive burrito therapy technique that I have invented today. She's created a lot of obstacles for herself that I think this burrito is gonna help her just kind of hurdle over. Peggy? Yes? I want you to befriend that burrito and through your friendship, find forgiveness. So, Burrito, um, what kind of things do you like to do? I'll start. I have been watching a lot of Bob's Burgers lately. Uh, burritos are great too. If there was a show called Bob's Burritos, I, I would watch it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I should not have mentioned burgers around you. That was like, ah, like insensitive. I Speak to me. Peggy, the burrito can't speak. It can only listen. 
You must accept the burrito for what it is, and through that acceptance comes change. And you should stop apologizing so much. I'm sorry. No. Uh, hi. Um, I, I, I'm sorry. I just couldn't help notice you're walking... Half a burrito. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eggplant and I love taking walks. Oh, um, you know, a burrito is like just so much less maintenance than a dog. No shedding. No vet visits. No poop. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Bob. <laughs> we were just leaving. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, buddy. You know what they say about guys who walk eggplants. What? Crazy! Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Come on, buddy! Oh god. Oh, your negativity is really flowing through me. Oh god. Don't look at me! Cut away! Peggy's got a lot more negativity in her than I originally anticipated. She's got a lot of work to do, a lot of progress to make.